The storm heading for the northwest coast tomorrow is getting national attention and a scary sounding name. 4 News Now meteorologist Matt Gray is with us to explain why this storm is being called a bomb cyclone. Yeah, it sounds pretty scary, right? Near the bomb cyclone makes me want to, you know, twirl my mustache, the bomb cyclone. But what this actually means, and I'll show you where it is right now. You saw that little swirl. This is about 1,200 miles out to the west of Spokane. This is what actually is going to be the bomb cyclone starting to form. So look, all this means is that we're going to see that storm rapidly strengthen over the next 24 hours. That's the bomb part of bomb cyclone. It just means a rapid pressure drop. The specific definition, 24 millibars of pressure in 24 hours that it goes down. Lower pressure, stronger storm. And that brings to the word cyclone, which is just another name for low pressure storm system. We use all those words interchangeably. You probably hear us say some of these other names a lot on TV. So let's look at the pressure here and see what happens with this storm. Once again, staying way out there in the Pacific. And you notice all these pressure lines, they start to tighten up a little bit. So a lot more or uh, that big pressure drop occurring overnight. This is about seven in the morning. And now watch where the center of this goes. It ends up tracking to the north, actually headed for Alaska. So the more impactful parts of the bomb cyclone could be staying away from us here in the northwest. But as the storm gets stronger, what does that mean? It means that the winds start to increase and there are going to be some wacky winds coming along with this one, especially to our neighbors to the north in BC where they have wind warnings up because look at this 50, 60 mile an hour winds. They could even see 70 mile an hour winds along Vancouver Island north of us here in British Columbia. Meanwhile, along the coasts of Washington and Oregon. They're thinking about 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. Still pretty strong, but definitely nothing like the way or what they're going to see in Canada before that storm moves on. And look, we're no stranger to nasty wind storms here, and a lot of them would meet that bomb cyclone criteria. Winds as high as 68 miles an hour in BC, just a little bit shy of a category one hurricane. So some very strong storms, and we'll probably be talking about more bomb cyclones as we get into the winter season.